Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. Don't pause like that. It freaks me out. I'm Cat. <laughs> I'm Raven. <laughs> oh. Oh, she was waiting for me to pull shenanigans. Very nervous. <laughs> I swear, if we ever do another soap with, uh, like, Meow at Glitter Chat, where we do a live stream and make a soap, I think we should call it Shenanigans. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, today we're not doing Shenanigans. Today we are hashtag basic. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. We are making well, a... Well, mostly Raven is. What? What are you trying to say? You like pumpkin spice. I do. This is a pumpkin chai latte scent. Okay, so just a quick rundown because I like to do this at the beginning and Kat doesn't, but I'm behind the camera so I can do this kind of stuff. Uh, the fragrance oil we are using today is pumpkin chai from Candle Science. It is such a spicy, lovely, sweet scent. Oh, I love it. And we are going to be minimizing its discoloration properties with some vanilla, vanilla color stabilizer for cold process soap from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It's already been blended up with the fragrance oil. Take it away, Kat. Don't mind if I do. So I got a, our sodium hydroxide, water, and sodium lactate. Into the oils. Into the oils you go. So I think it's been well known on our channel that I love coffee and I really like Starbucks. <laughs> I don't go to Starbucks as often as I used to anymore, but um, my go-to is always a chai. Mine is too. I love a good chai with one pump of mocha. If you haven't tried that before, a ch iced chai with one pump of mocha, glorious, delicious. Because you know how there's that sharp taste of the ginger? The ch uh, mocha helps bring some of that down. So good. See, whereas I like my regular chai tea latte thing with almond milk. Well, you have to have the almond milk, though. It is required. I don't have to. Well, it certainly helps. Okay. But, like, you're lactose intolerant. You really should have the almond milk. I should. But has that ever stopped me? Yeah, you and every other lactose intolerant person I've ever met. You can call me basic all you want. I like the pumpkin spice latte. And I, I feel like a lot of people think the pumpkin spice latte is supposed to have pumpkin, and so they're they're weirded out by it, and they don't want to try it because they don't want it to be pumpkin-flavored. But it's not pumpkin-flavored. It's pumpkin spice, like nutmeg and clove. It's really good. So in our bucket, in this one, we've got uh, titanium dioxide prepped from TKB. For oil. In this middle bucket, we have Copper Penny from Nurture Soap and Sahara Gold. Okay, and then and finally in this bucket, we've got a combination of Always a Bridesmaid and Tequila Sunrise. Oh, oh, careful. Man, we just went full on fall with this collection, didn't we? You wanted a fall collection? I did. This is true. I like fall colors. I like the sort of earthy tones and browns and oranges and I don't really I don't know if I really like orange by itself typically, but like mixed in with other earthy colors is super pretty. I'm gonna say the only time I like orange or yellow is when it's mixed with browns and off whites or cream colors. Yeah. So this is gonna be a combo soap today. So cat's blending and then I'm gonna be pouring. Because I can't pour from these when they're this full. <laughs> Not without making a giant mess. All right. Are we doing fragrance now? Yes. Okay. So the return triumphantly of... Tiny Blender. This is blending up the fragrance oil and vanilla color stabilizer all together. So we want a nice good emulsion between the two. Now I want to blend lightest to dark. Oh. I know what I was doing. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> like brownie gold. Oh, I want to do a steampunk soap. This makes me feel like steampunk stuff. Ah! Ugh. That one's going to cause me issues. I just know it. Ah, 
No! Ah, oh, shit. Damn. So now that we've got most of the soap batter in there, we are good to go ahead and mix up the frosting. So, frosting time. And we've had a few people ask us, like, why we don't blend the ever-loving crap out of our frosting. <laughs> why we let it set up. Yes, we do blend the ever-loving crap out of this. I just edited it out because it's boring. <laughs> yes, but we blend the ever-loving crap out of it. But blending only takes it so far, apparently. Yeah. So we do have to, like, we do have to wait a little bit. Sometimes it's five minutes. Sometimes it's a f hour. <laughs> well, like, to be honest, we use the recipe from the, what was at the time, the Royalty Soaps piping set for nurture soap. Uh, now Katie does her piping set on her own, which is cool. Good for you, Katie. So frosting club. And even when she does it when, with her own recipe, sometimes that happens to her too, where it'll set up super fast, and other times it doesn't. It's just sort of a thing. I don't know. Let's blend up some frosting. Here, how about for funsies, just to kind of illustrate. I will put up a clock from the time that Kat starts blending to the time that she stops blending, and I'll just speed it up really, really fast so it's not like 30 solid seconds of Kat blending already sped up. So... You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. Pour in the lye water solution. And she's off. All right. So there it is. After all that time, watch you lift that blender up out of there for a second. And it is still watery as hell. <laughs> we really do blend it forever. It just, it's boring to watch. It's like watching somebody gesso something for an hour. It's, it's not interesting. We're going to let that set up uh, for whatever amount of time that it takes. And we will be back to pipe in just a moment. We will, uh, I don't know. I might put an ad break in here. Uh, we'll see. All right. See you in a minute. We are back, and Kat is on frosting right now, because as I have told her, she will not get better if she doesn't try. So I'm trying. Yes. And you will get better as a result. So as a reminder out there, anybody who is learning to do something new, please do not expect yourself to be perfect. It is very important when you are learning a new skill to give yourself the opportunity to, uh, to struggle and to understand that that's okay. There's nothing wrong with not doing it perfect right out the gate. And it's certainly not fair to compare yourself to somebody who's been doing it for a long time. I mean like I do. And that is not fair to you. I have been using piping and frosting since I was a wee child. I have a lot of years on you. And I'm certainly not perfect, but I have admittedly been doing this a while. Mm -hmm. Just not in the aspect of soap. Not that it's honestly that different. And when you make a mistake, don't just keep compounding on your mistake. You have to try and fix it. If you ever want a good trick for filling your piping bag, put it in a cup. Well, before embeds, we're going to do a light dusting of Sparkle Me Gold. So the embeds we've got, I'll break some pipes the other two. Get some little bit pumpkins that are going to be going on top. And then some little bitty cinnamon sticks. Which are made of soap dough. Our little pumpkins are made of melt and pour. Well, I add this. I think this one's called Monster Mash. I think. Another biodegradable glitter from the good glitter. And I think I got the name right. I'm not 100% certain. Hoping to get more of the gold and the purple in it. Not gonna lie, it's looking a little like pepper. I've got it. It's maybe not terrible of a thing because maybe it might come off as like cinnamon. Or clove. Or clove, yeah. I like how your solution when glitter goes wrong is just to add more glitter. Until it looks right. <laughs> yes. We didn't have like an orange glitter or like a brown? No, no, because I can't find orange glitter. Trust me. Ooh. I've been looking. I feel like I just accidentally touched an herb there. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to get mad at me about orange glitter. If anyone can find me orange biodegradable glitter, send me the link, please. 
because I sure as hell have not found it. And I'm pissed because I want every single goddamn color of the rainbow and f***ing glitter. All right, all right, Mariah, chill out. <laughs> rainbow or nothing, we know. <laughs> all righty, and we are all finished up with hashtag basic, our pumpkin spice soap for this year. Which we didn't get to do one last year. No. No. We really didn't. That's too bad. We'll definitely get to do one this year. So these will be sitting in the molds for bare minimum 24 hours. We generally find when we have to use vanilla color stabilizer, they get really soft. So they may not come out right away. Uh, but they are extremely hot. They're super hot. Oh, my God. Um, so we're going to let these hang out for a little bit before we put them up on the curing rack. And uh, we will be back after a quick possible commercial break with YouTube. Who knows? If there's one available, we'll go ahead and let that run. And we will be back in just a minute. Bye. Welcome back. We're back to cut hashtag basic. <laughs> cut her up. Our lady Vanya is back. And just in case I forgot to mention on the previous video where we used her, because um, I know I did not mention it in the delightful video when we used Vanya for the first time. Uh, Vanya, our Vanya, is named after the character from Umbrella Academy. So we understand <laughs> that in some countries, Vanya is a boy's name. But our Vanya, she's a lady, and she's named after the Umbrella Academy. I think we need to tighten the string. Again. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Okay. I'm all right with that. Ooh. Is that a hole? That is a air bubble. Dang it. You tried. Air bubble. No. Is that Sculpey? I don't know. Stepped probably. On? The boy likes to play with Sculpey. You know, I'm glad it looks really different from Caramel Frap. I was concerned initially that it would look too similar, but it has a nice difference to it. Well, Caramel Frap is more like browns and whites, because I don't think I used any orange in Caramel Frap. No, it wasn't like the colors necessarily. I just <clears throat> was worried if we did two things that were basically inspired by a drink, that they would look too similar. In yeah. Overall aesthetic. But I feel like these look sufficiently different. And with that, there are our finished hashtag basic pumpkin spice latte inspired bars. I'm glad that we got to do these this year. I think they look lovely. They smell delicious. I don't care what Kat says. I think they smell great. <laughs> <laughs> so these will be available as part of our October 30th release on catandravendesigns.com. As usual, you can catch us in a variety of different social media outlets, which are all linked down in the description box below. And with that, go grab your favorite drink, you know, whether that's a hot cocoa or a coffee or a pumpkin spice latte. And I hope you have an excellent day. All right. With that, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.